The U.S. Navy just made a stunning admission. Naval officials yesterday confirmed that three separate UFO videos released by the New York Times in 2017 and previewed on the show are actually genuine. They do, in fact, show aerial phenomena the Navy cannot explain and that, in fact, our understanding of physics cannot explain. The Navy also recently sent a letter to Congressman Mark Walker saying that it takes UFO sightings very seriously and is working to investigate them. Nick Pope is a British journalist. He once investigated UFOs for the U.K. Ministry of Defense. He joins us tonight to explain the significance of this. So, Nick, this does seem like a change in the way the Pentagon describes this phenomenon, is it? Yes, it is. Up until this point, the Navy has said very little. And in fact, they've left the door open sometimes and almost implied, look, we might be dealing with commercial drones or even balloons. But now what they've done is turn around and said, number one, this is real. And number two, this is unidentified aerial phenomena. That's the phrase that they've used. Previously, they've said advanced unknown aircraft. Now they're saying unidentified aerial phenomena. And that is, it's a term borrowed from the British government. We used it in the Ministry of Defense, and we meant UFOs. So the U.S. government is admitting that they have no idea what these things are, that they're probably not some Russian superplane, and nobody's paying attention to this. I mean, this seems like a watershed moment. I mean, we have all this tape of objects defying the known laws of physics right next to U.S. military installations. The military admits it. Why is this not page one news everywhere? Well, it should be, absolutely. These aircraft carriers that many of these UFOs have been interacting with, obviously these are billion-dollar assets. And if the official position of the most powerful navy in the world is frankly little more than we don't know what this is. I don't think that's good enough. And I think clearly people like uh, Mark Walker don't think so either. And I would urge him to get the classified briefing that other senators have said they've received. And maybe within the bounds of not wanting to, to divulge classified information, but maybe some of these senators could then step forward and, and at least give us a clue of what we're dealing with here. So it turns out it wasn't a weather balloon. I mean, they've been telling us that for 50 years. Oh, it's a weather balloon. It's not a weather balloon, is it? No, absolutely not. Somebody in the Pentagon must have. They, they say we don't want to hypothesize about this. That's fine. But there must be, in the Pentagon, a best assessment. And there yes. must be a view of what they're ruling out. We should be told. There's obviously some reason they're not telling us. In 15 seconds, hypothesize as to what that reason might be. Well, some secret too terrible to be told, but yeah. I think we should be told, or at least we, we should be hinted at. Yeah, or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> They've been lying about it for 50 years. Maybe there's a reason they have been. I don't know, Nick. This is starting to worry me. I'm grateful, though, that you have come on so frequently to put it in context for us. Good to see you tonight. Thank you.